But when you have a serious problem with trust, unfortunately, you withdraw from others and you are deprived from these immense benefits that good relationships give to you. So what do you do to begin to work through some of these challenges that you face in your relationship because of your problem with trust? The very first thing I want you to do is I want you to set very short-term goals that are positive from your relationships. Don't think into the future, they're going to take my money, I'm going to lose my relationships, or I don't want to lose who I am. Just make up your mind. I'm going to have relationships and I'm going to have fun when I'm doing it. Even if the outcome doesn't turn out to be what I expect, who cares? I'm going to go in with a positive attitude. Even if it doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn out, I'm going to learn something from it that's going to enhance me and it's going to help me to have a better understanding of the kind of people I want to be around more and the kind of people that may not be a good fit. What you're doing is you're going in with those expectations. The whole principle is if you're looking for something, you will find it. If you're looking for pain and bad things, you're going to find it. If you're looking for good, you're going to find it. Then the second thing I want you to do is I want you to take on a relationship with somebody who you know has done pretty well with relationships and say to them, I want to learn from you. This person is probably somebody that's gone through pain. They've gone through rejection, but somehow they enjoy relationships. They are positive relationships and use them as a kind of support person to let them know, am I overreacting or am I not? And they can help you to, you know, see how some of the reactions you may be having may be more positive or maybe more negative, maybe more related to what you've been through because of your painful experiences or you're moving in the right direction. And then the third thing I want you to do is I want you to change your attitude towards relationship period. And this is the attitude. I'm going to do right every time, even if people don't do right by me. What you're saying is, when I show good in relationships, I am presenting to others the best of me. Even if they don't reciprocate and give you what you want, you're stronger by it. You're better by it. You're modeling the kind of behavior that you want them to give to you. If you say you're a good person, show the other people in your life what you want them to do to you by the way you act. You are creating environments that allow good relationships to get stronger and bad relationships to fall by the wayside. But make up your mind. What you've been through is not going to damage you and taint you to where you now come always from a place of pain. Say to yourself, I'm going to come from a positive place. I'm going to show positive experiences. I'm going to put a smile on my face. I'm going to have a good attitude. I'm going to make good experience even from things that don't turn on my own way. And I'm going to be the best I can be so that you can enjoy relationships again so that you can be everything that you are meant to be, so that you don't lose out on the immense benefits that relationships give us as people. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel as you begin to enjoy the benefits of having good relationships. So subscribe to my channel, share this with as many people as possible, leave a comment, like this video. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Balancing Life with Dr. Rolla. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video. Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment down below and be sure to subscribe. Also, Dr. Rolla would love to hear from you. Visit us at actsdrrolla.com. This episode was shot and produced by Simeon Fabumi with editing done by Kemi Faderin.